Evaluate the definite integral from 0 to pi sixth cosine 3x times sine to the fourth 3x dx. Let's begin by solving the related problem of the antiderivative first. So the indefinite integral of cos 3x times sin to the fourth 3x dx. Uh, this is this horrible old trig notation here. Let's prep this to make it explicit what we mean. This is the antiderivative of the cosine of 3x times the sine of 3x itself raised to the fourth power. Now this integral's been prepped. Notice that when we prep it, we see that it's an integral of a product. Product integrals can be solved by either expanding them out or using a substitution. Those are the only two tools in our toolbox so far. Since this is not expandable, we'd probably want to use a substitution. Notice that the largest thing in parentheses is this expression, so we're going to use that. So we can go through and let u be the sine of 3x. Now let's differentiate. We're going to have that the derivative of sine of blank is the cosine of blank times the derivative of blank. The blank in this case is 3x, so the derivative is 3. We can multiply both sides by dx to have the equation du is equal to 3 times the cosine of 3x dx. And we can divide both sides by that 3 and write this as 1 third du equals cosine of 3x dx. This is the differential we need to fit. Does it fit? Well, just take a quick look. It's the bookends of the integral, 3x, cosine 3x times dx. So let's replace these two pieces with 1 third du. And the remaining sine of 3x can be replaced with a u. So we have u to the fourth, the integral of this times du. Let me clean that up. This is the integral of 1 third u to the fourth du. Since this is the power function, the 1 third will come along for the ride. We'll up the power by 1. So we get a 5, divide by the new power. And that's going to give us 1 15th u to the 5. Or when we back substitute, 1 15th times the sine of 3x raised to the fifth power. Add a constant, and we have every possible antiderivative. Now we're ready to go and do the definite integral. So let me move this up to the top and give us some, uh, some scratch place to work with here. So I'm going to bring this up to here and eliminate all my stuff. Now let's work out the definite integral. So the integral from 0 to pi over 6 of cosine 3x times the sine to the fourth dx. Sorry, 3x dx. According to the fundamental theorem, all we need to do is take our antiderivative, 1 15th, the sine of 3x quantity to the fifth, any one of them, and evaluate it from 0 to pi over 6. So first we plug in pi over 6. We're going to have 1 15th times the sine of 3 times pi over 6, or 3 pi over 6, to the fifth power. And then we will subtract what we get when we plug in 0. So 1 15th, the sine of 0 to the fifth. Notice that this is really over here, one, or pi over 2. And the sine of pi over 2 is just 1. So this is 1 15th times 1 raised to the fifth power. Minus 1 15th sine of 0 is 0. And so this would be times 0 to the fifth. And that gives me a grand total of 1 15th. And so there's my definite integral.